you make a mess, you need to clean it up. Today I'll take a trip to Surf City Garage to find out what makes this wax perfect for any truck enthusiast. Right, this thing's really looking good. Hey, welcome to Truck U. As you can see, the Jeep is starting to come along. You know, it's a lot of hard work around here, and me, I'm the one always taking care of things, making them look good. <clears throat> I, I don't know where to start, because I'm at a bit of a loss, if I'm being honest. I'm kind of sensing some attitude. I what, pick up what? a new toy, and I bring it in here, and I turn my back for 10 minutes, and you and the Jeep disappear, and... This wasn't a community vehicle? It was too soon? No. Yeah, a little too soon. A little too soon. You know what? Why don't you just step back out of the way, you know, because this thing right Right now looks good on account of me. Now you've seen it an hour ago. Woohoo! It was a hot mess, son. You want nothing to do with this bad boy. I will say it does look a little better. And that was a fun ride. Talk about breaking in a vehicle for a friend, you know? And what a guy I am. Looks like that got a hand kind of quick, though. I think I know somebody I can call to get some help with this thing, though. In order to clean up the mess I made, I decided to travel to the west coast of Huntington Beach, California, where it's all about surf, sand, and true car enthusiasts. And the folks at Surf City Garage are experts on all the above. Founder Tim Miller started the company out of his love for classic muscle cars. With his ever-growing collection of 125 cars and trucks, every one has its own original story. Yeah, you know, my dad bought this truck brand new in 1958. We kind of wanted to restore it like we thought my dad would do. You know, I've, I've been pretty fortunate in business uh, to be able to pursue a hobby that I've had since I was three years old riding on the back of this truck. You know, I think he would really be excited for uh, exactly what we've done to it. I think he'd approve. As you take a step inside the showroom here at Surf City Garage, you can really like taking a step back in time to the classic era of the 50s and 60s, whether it's the old school gas station with every little detail in place to this classic Indian motorcycle. You can see that Surf City Garage is really a place for the true car enthusiast. Now this room keeps that whole motif going on from the 50s and 60s with the soda shop and the diner theme. But what would a blast of the past be without a true classic muscle car? Now this room's full of them. Pretty much set up for the Blue Oval enthusiast. As you notice though, a little Chevy found its way inside their room. These collections always growing here at Surf City Garage, but one that first caught my eye is right here. It's a 1969 Shelby GT350. Now this car, like all of them in the collection, have their own backstory. Bought right off the lot from a, in 1969 from a hockey player with a signing bonus. This car has been kept intact, original as manufactured, only got less than 10,000 miles on it, which makes it a true classic. Now, what you really have to love about this car is it looks like it's got the styling of a car made today. From the aluminum wheels to the, the louvers on the hood to the power underneath the hood, a 351 Ram Air combined with a touring suspension gives it the perfect balance of power and luxury, just like a car off the showroom today. So I turn the corner here in Surf City Garage and I find myself smack dab in the mother load of classic muscle cars. Whether you're looking for a 1958 Corvette to a 55 Chevy to a Judge or what me screams muscle car, the GTO, they have got it all. Now this one is unique in the fact that it's got this silver glaze paint on it, which is pretty cool to look at, but what makes it even more unique, it's a convertible with air conditioning and a four speed. There's not many out there today. Now, one thing I want to tell you guys about Surf City Garage, they take their cars very seriously. They do all the restorations right here in-house. This one, for example, frame off restoration and it is rebuilt all the way back up with a 100% factory matching numbers 
all the way down to the rally wheel. So they don't miss a step over here. Now, real quick, I want to show you guys two judges. Now, if you're a judge fan, this is the home for you because there's a bunch on display. But these two 1971s, this one was the first one to roll off the factory floor in 71. It's the Pilot. This one right here is the last one to come off the factory in 1971. If you know anything about judges, you know that 71 was the last year they made them. So this was the last production judge ever made. No classic muscle car collection would be complete without a late 60s Camaro or two thrown in the mix. Now, this 69 Z28 is a great representation of the Camaros back in the day. Now, as you can see, it's got that beautiful hugger orange paint job that always makes it stand out in the lot. But to me, it's about what's underneath the hood. It's a little 302, but this little 302 really packs some punch. It's a high revving engine that I'll tell you right now, if it was my money, I'd put that 302 versus that 400 GTO all day long. If you step outside the showroom doors here at Surf City Garage, you'll see that the collection continues on and on. It actually continues on to a couple other warehouses that store all of the 125 cars in the collection. Now, a lot of these cars will get moved back and forth depending on what events they've got coming up to represent whatever they want to show. So this one here is probably as straight a car as you'll find dating back to 1967. It's a GTO with 13,000 original miles on it. This car is so straight that actually a lot of aftermarket companies use it for measurements and molds for aftermarket products. And that's why the Ram Air Scoop is missing. It's actually being used to make a new one that'll be manufactured for a bunch of different cars. Now, over here, we've got what You've got a show for a truck show. It's a Ranchero from 1971, and this thing is really unique, not just because of the gravity yellow paint on it, but because it's got a big motor underneath the hood. A 429 cubic inch Cobra jet gives this thing a whole lot of life when you step on the throttle, and you know what? You can throw the surfboards in back, and you know you can motor on down to the beach. It's a good time for us to take a break, so when we come back, we're gonna step back inside Surf City Garage and learn how to use Surf City Garage products to bring these cars back to life. Hey, welcome back to Truck U. Now we're back inside the Surf City Garage and caught up with Kenneth here to show me a little bit how you use Surf City Garage products to bring these classic cars back to life. What are you working on here? Right now, I just finished buffing the car with Beyond Clay. We're getting the cars ready for a show coming up. And we, what a lot of people don't know is we actually develop the products for our own cars and we use all our own products on our own cars. Beyond clay, it's like a clay bar system, right? Right, it's a lot like a clay bar. A lot of people overuse clay bars and they actually do a lot of damage to the paint. It can cause swirl marks and even cause scratches. So we developed Beyond Clay. It does everything that a clay bar will do, but it actually goes beyond that and polishes out the surface as well. So it removes any of those swirl marks or scratches as well. Okay, so after you're done with the Beyond Clay, then what's next? Beyond Clay, after we're finished with that, we always like to throw on a coat of carnauba wax just to make sure we uh, give the car some protection from the sun and uh, weather, and then it also brings out the shine even more. And it's a pure white Brazilian carnauba wax, which makes it a lot easier to work with and also gives you a lot longer protection and a lot better shine as well. All right, so now that I got the Jeep polished and waxed, how do I keep it looking this good? The easiest way to maintain the car and the shine uh, is actually with our Speed Demon Wax Detailer. We use it around the shop on a daily basis just to keep all the cars looking good and to keep them clean. Actually, to spray the car, and if there's a light film of dust or dirt on the surface, they actually lift it so when you wipe the car, it doesn't scratch it. No, that's nice. And you can even use it at a car show in the sun. It's super easy to use, and it uh, lays down a foundation of wax as well. Cool. And uh, Matt right now is working on our interior products. If you want to go check that out, I'm sure he could help you with getting inside of your Jeep. Yeah, that's a great idea. Hey, thanks for your help over no here. No problem. What's going on, man? No, I'm just trying to watch and learn. Yeah, I heard you had a little too much fun with your Jeep. <laughs> I got out of hand quick, man. Trash the interior too? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Well, we got a bunch of interior products that'll help you out, bring those back to life. Cool. So what I'm doing right here is I already started cleaning this section and uh, what I used was our Dashaway interior detailer and I'll spray some on just to show you. It's safe on vinyl, leather, and plastic. And the good thing about it, it doesn't have petroleum in it, so you're not gonna be slipping and sliding around on your seat. Nice, and I won't be wearing it when I get up, right? Exactly, exactly. So you wanna clean this first. For those little cracks that are hard to reach, you can use Matt's toothbrush if you want, <laughs> or just a nice little bristle brush right here. I like that. But you can see it cleans it up pretty quick. Man, does it ever. So what you're doing first is you're prepping it with this cleaner, and then you wanna go over it with Voodoo Blend. 
Now, Voodoo Blend is our leather rejuvenator. So it's going to bring back that rich Corinthian leather. Exactly. Sm man. That smell you need. Exactly. It puts the natural oils back into the seat, beeswax and lanolin. Great thing is it's not going to leave it greasy or glossy just like dash away. It's not coming up on my fingers too. Yeah, man. Well, why don't you check out our warehouse and see where all this stuff is made? Hey, thanks. That's a great idea. You know, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll be at the manufacturing center. and We'll find out how Surf City Garage products all come together. Hey, welcome back to Truck U. We're inside one of the packaging facilities that Surf City Garage utilizes. And as you can see, when you quickly look around this place, it is packed to the gills full of product ready to go out to the end users. We got racks a mile high and about a mile deep. And Brandon, right here, you can see one of these automated machines going on. There's a lot going inside of this place. Oh yeah, definitely. We're actually just standing next to one of our packaging lines here where you can fill and label 180 bottles a minute. Well, so, that's a lot of product, yeah, quick. So we, get it, we get a lot done in a short amount of time. You just put those bottles in a, a box, throw them through the tape machine, and you got a complete full pallet of product just ready to go out and be sold, so. Now this is the Barrier Reef Carnauba Wax has been going through here, so you, is it all that this machine can facilitate? Oh, you know what, no, actually it's really versatile lines that we have. Uh, you can actually do everything from eight ounces all the way up to our big two liter jugs oh, that's um, cool. all on one machine. So it makes things really easy to do. So Brandon, this is pretty much an automated whole system here. What's with all the people in the white coats? Is that just for looks or what? Oh, uh, no, definitely. Even though they look cool, they're actually around here just to make sure that quality is up to par. We want to make sure that our customers are getting the best quality, best ingredients possible, and we want to make sure that quality control is at, at the highest standard possible. So now that we see how this whole thing comes together, I say you and I grab up as much product as we can, head back to the shop, and we'll see how Surf City Garage products are put to real-time use. We're back here outside Surf City Garage. We've assembled three competitors that take part in our Surf City Garage competition. Hi, my name's Travis Nowak. I'm the editor of Street Trucks Magazine, and I'm down here at Surf City Garage in Huntington Beach, California. This is my 1995 Chevy 1500 Silverado. It's on Air Ride Tech suspension, Bond Speed wheels, bare brakes. It has a GM Performance HT383 crate motor, built as a tribute to 60s muscle cars, and it hangs corners like nobody's business. Chris Russell, Force One Motorsports. We're here at Surf City Garage. We have a 2008 F-250 Super Duty called the Punisher. It's a truck we built two years ago. We 10 inch of Fabtech lift, 38 inch tires. It's just one bad truck. This is Jason Mulligan from Street Trucks Magazine. We're here at Surf City Garage. This is my 97 Chevy Silverado. It's bagged on 20 and 22 inch intro wheels. Full old school interior, Corvair bucket seats, and Paula Center console. It's got flames on the hood and a bunch of pinstriping to complete the old school look. So now that you had a chance to meet each one of our truck enthusiasts, we're going to take a break because when we come back, we're going to put them to the ultimate test using Surf City Garage products. Hey, welcome back to Truck U. We are about to kick off the first ever Surf City Garage detail off here in Huntington Beach, California. Behind me, we've got each of our three truck enthusiasts. Now, we've set each one in front of a station with a mystery component that they're gonna have to clean in detail. I'm gonna count you down three, two, one. When I say go, you'll walk over to your detailing center, grab the appropriate product, clean and detail it. Now, it's not about time, it's about quality, guys. Here we go, three, two, one, have at it. Ready to go. <laughs> Cheater. <laughs> Using Surf City Garage's killer chrome on this wheel. As you can see, the luster is quite gone, but we're going to bring it back with Surf City product. Now, I'm not sure, but it looked like you kind of knew what you were getting into over here. I might have taken a peek earlier, you know, just to get ahead of the competition. So, so what are you using to clean up this nasty uh, looking seat? Surf City Garage Dash Away. It's interior detailer and as you can see, this seat was just really dirty. And uh, then we're gonna follow it up with the leather rejuvenator just to give it, give it that nice luster back. And getting the, the nano detailer applicator pad. And just 
pour a little bit on. And you can already see just the deep blue, you know, leather color coming back. This will make any interior look brand new. This door turned out awesome. We, we started off with a really bad faded paint. We took the Surf City Garage Beyond Clay paint polish. We put, a, we put a mitt on it. We cleaned it up, polished it out. And then we took a fine mitt with the Surf City Garage Barrier Reef Carnuba wax on top of this thing. And it is really nice. It brought a lot of life back to this paint. I've got this wheel just about finished. Used some uh, Surf City Beyond Black on the tire. But as you can see, it leaves a very nice clean uh, look. It's not oily or greasy. I won't throw product on the car because it basically soaks into the rubber. And it's just a very clean, nice, pleasing look on the tires. Well, all of our hardcore truck enthusiasts look to be done here. And I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't think that all of them could do the job that they did, especially our cheater down there, Jason, with that chair. But anyways, I think they all did a really good job, but it's not important what I think. It's all about the man from Surf City Garage, our boy Kenneth. You're the expert. Tell us, who got it done here today? You know, normally at Surf City Garage, we take our competitions really seriously, especially when they come to detailing. I was watching all three guys use the products. They all use them just like they were supposed to. And we're not to be trying to be like Little League Baseball here, but I don't have to declare everybody a winner. Everything just looks awesome. Well, there you have it. Everybody's a winner here today at Surf City Garage. On behalf of Surf City Garage, each one of the guys are going to take home a detailing kit with all the goodies you could want and ask for. And that's about all the time we've got here for Truck U. I want to thank Surf City Garage for giving me a great day here in the sunny Huntington Beach. They showed me some cool cars and some cool product. Good time for us to take a break. When we come back, we'll catch you guys in the parts room. Let's go inside the Duplicolor garage. Duplicolor. If it's out there, it's in here. Today in the Duplicolor garage, we want to talk about something that a lot of you guys are doing to your vehicles, and that's blacking them out. From the dark tinted windows to the black paint, you know, matching up all the bumpers and the door handles and everything and getting that good solid black look. Well, that goes down to the wheels as well. Now, here's the issue. You've got this big chrome wheel. All right, so you want to get that black chrome look on this. Well, you could take it to a place and get it black chromed, but that's probably going to cost you over $100 per wheel to get done, and that's a pretty good chunk of change. Now, your alternative is right here. It's the shadow chrome black blackout coating kit from Duplicolor. Now what you can do, it's a two-can kit, you can get the same results for under 20 bucks on all four wheels. And the first can right here, it has this translucent black paint that you're going to paint right over the chrome. You can see through it, so all of the, the shiny effects of the chrome are still going to come through. Now something that's really important when you're prepping for this, you don't want to scuff this rim because you'll see the scuffs coming through there. This paint is actually formulated with an adhesion promoter, so once you get it all cleaned up with your prep spray and you get it nice and clean, it's going to stick good. Then we can put the clear on right after that. So again, you can achieve this look on all four wheels for under 20 bucks by using this kit. It's the Shadow Chrome Blackout Coating from Duplicolor. If you have any more questions about this or any other Duplicolor products, be sure to check out their website. For more information about anything you've seen on today's show, check out speedtv.com or visit our website at truckutv.com. Here's this week's spark plug tip, brought to you by Champion Spark Plug. Have you ever broken a spark plug in its hole? If so, you know it's no fun getting the rest of the plug back out. The problem is particularly common in many service trucks like the Ford 4.6, 5.4, and 6.8 liter three valve engines, which require a higher thread plug design. Unfortunately, the original equipment plug for these engines is manufactured in two pieces, and these pieces can separate during removal, which leaves the plug base trapped in the cylinder head. Protect yourself from this problem by getting a new one-piece Champion Double Platinum Plug from Federal Mogul. This advanced plug is perfect for the millions of Ford engines requiring a high thread design. So the next time you have to service your engine, you won't have a problem getting the plugs out. Welcome back to Truck U. Now we know a lot of you guys are running the big Ford Power Stroke diesels, which means a lot of you are dealing with cold start issues, and you know the nightmares associated with that. This is RevX High Performance Oil Additive. It's designed to do a lot of different things, one of which is to eliminate those cold start issues. 
Another great application for is your turbocharger. It's going to help it perform much better. First of all, it's going to reduce the friction inside of it, which will allow the turbo to spool up faster. Now, it's also going to give you lower thermal temperatures, which will give you extended life out of your turbo. So for you and I, what that means, you're going to have better low and mid-range power and better fuel economy. Now, the RevX is like the cross trainer of oil additives because it's so versatile. You can use it in gas and diesel. You throw it in your manual transmission, your transfer case, front and rear differentials, and your power steering system. It's RevX High Performance Oil Additive. Now this big daddy right here is the PE-235. It's a sink on a drum aqueous parts washer from Fountain Industries and it's going to be your best friend in the shop, I tell you. Now you can see it's got a large deep sink that will hold all the parts you need. It's got a flexible lock line nozzle as well as a flow through polyester brush so it'll be good for all your water-based cleaning applications. Now this thing also features an industrial grade pump. And it's got the 30 gallon drum on the bottom so you're going to be able to do a lot of cleaning. Now think about the scenario here. You're apart the old motor and you're pulling everything out and the parts are all nasty and it's a little bit tedious if you've got to get them clean. Well this is going to make cleaning those parts a lot easier and a lot quicker which in turn is going to make the reassembly go a lot smoother right. because all the parts are clean. So it's like I said a little bit earlier this big PE 235 from Fountain Industries is going to be one good friend in the shop. Now this is the Torsa Top from Advantage Truck Accessories. Actually, this is the shrunk down model version that allows us to show you how easy it folds. Now take a look at this. You know, there's a couple different advantages to this. First of all, obviously with the bed cover, you're protecting the things in the back of your truck. But two, when it folds up like this, you can still use the bed of your truck. Well, another thing about it is great is it comes completely assembled out of the box. So all these rails and frames literally just drop into place. There's no drilling, no screws that have to go in and damage the paint of your vehicle, no rust spots. Right. So this will actually lock onto the rail and it is set and you simply unfold it. These rails are included. You don't have any of those cumbersome snaps or slides or Velcro that gets damaged and stretches and shrinks over the winter and you can't get the top back on. So this is a great option. And it's made in the USA. It's the Torza Top from Advantage Truck Accessories. These are replacement door panels that are sold in sets at LMC Truck. Now they're not exact factory replacements, they're actually rebuilt, retooled, and built to more exacting specifications, so they're going to fit a little bit better than the originals did. Another cool thing is, they make them, then they paint them up to whatever color they're going to make, then they hit them with the UV protector so they're not going to fade on you. Well, as always with LMC Truck, if you don't have one, get yourself a catalog. They're free, they've got everything you need from expanding diagrams inside here. Whether it's a Ford, Dodge, Chevy, or GMC, LMC Truck has got you covered. And they make it as easy as they possibly can. And that is going to wrap it up for us this week. We'll see you next time right here on Truck U. You don't even ask me about my trip? Dude, I don't know. It's California. You're, You're out there all the time. Where's the love? You know? <laughs>